Now, if you've watched the previous video in this series, you'll know how easy it is to write out an arithmetic sequence if you know the first term and the common difference. If the first term is 9 and the common difference is 4, then our arithmetic sequence will be 9 minus 4, which is 5, minus 4, which is 1, minus 4, which is negative 3, minus 4, which is negative 7, and so on. Now, we're going to do exactly that, but we're going to write it in a quite intimidating looking formula. So I don't want you to get worried. It's exactly what we just did, but we're going to do it with some more mathematical notation. Here's what the mathematical notation looks like. Here it is. Quite scary looking with these n's and these n plus 1's. This is what we call a recurrence relation. Okay, so don't get too worried about it, but let's take a look at each part of it. This first part of it, Super simple. Term 1 equals 9. So we're used to that. It's this second part of the formula that comes across as very, very strange. So let's use this formula, t n plus 1 equals t n minus 4, to come up with the first few terms of this sequence, just like we did before. So I've just rewritten this formula here, down here, in blue. Now let's just focus on this and try to understand what it's saying. It's saying if you know a term, term n, doesn't matter what, could be term 5, could be term 100, could be term a million. If you know that term, subtract 4 from it and you'll know the next term, right? Because if this term was term 1 million and this term is one more than that, that means that's the 1 millionth and 1th, 1 million and 1th term. So that's what this formula does. If you know this term, do something to it and you'll know the next term. So, how do we start using this recurrence relation formula to find the terms in our, in our sequence? Right, we know what term 1 is. And if we sub term 1 in, we'll be able to find term 1 plus 1, which is term 2. Right, see what's going on here? Term 1, so I've just chosen, I want to know what the first term is. Well, I know what the first term is. The first term is 9. And if I subtract 4 from it, I'll know what the second term is. 5. Okay, great. So what have I figured out? I figured out that term 1, T1, is equal to 9. I was told that at the start. I also know that term 2 is equal to 5 now. I've just calculated that. All right, let's do another calculation. This is the formula we're using, right? If I knew what term 2 was, and I subtracted 4 from it, I would then know what term 2 plus 1 was, term 3. I do know what term 2 is. Term 2 is 5. So 5 minus 4 is equal to term 3. So term 3 is equal to 1. All right, let's write that down. Term 3 is equal to 1. All right, let's have one more go here. What if I wanted to know term 4? Well, if I want to know what term 4 is, I need to know what term 3 is, and then I subtract 4 from it, and that will give me term 4, term n plus 1, one more than term 3. Now, I know what term 3 is. Term 3 is 1, 1 minus 4. So term 4 is negative 3. I hope you can see that, negative 3. And I can write that on my list, term 4 is equal to negative 3. All right, so this recurrence relation is just a really formal way of setting this out mathematically, of doing what you already know how to do with arithmetic sequences, but we use this fancy formula. Why am I doing this? Because you need to be able to read mathematics. You need to be able to look at this formula and interpret what it's asking you to do, and then be able to do it. Uh, all right, well, we're going to do something with this, I think, in the next video.